Hi, I'm Ariel. You're watching She Wants the Diction, where I talk about things no one cares about on the internet, mainly books. And today I'm going to be talking about short books that I want to read in the month of September, which is approaching rapidly. <laughs> we literally have like a few days left of this month, guys. Like, can you even believe it? Like, I would say summer is over, but like it's 113 degrees here. So like, but also I moved here, so I can't really complain because like I kind of asked for it. Anyway, so the readathon that I'm participating in is called Shorty September, I believe. And it is hosted by two different peeps or two different channels. Um, one being the lovely Bert and Sean over at Pastory Time. Um, and then Heather at Soggy Expat Book Nerd. I don't know her as well, but also seems cool. And the reason that I kind of wanted to participate in this or that I was immediately attracted to it is I feel like, I mean, and according to Storygraph, this is true. The majority of the books that I read are under 300 pages. Now for the purpose of the readathon, they have defined short book as anything that is under, I believe it's 200 pages. And I have tried my best to stick as strictly to that as humanly possible. I have also tried to pick as many books as I could from my shelf, like so books that I actually own that I haven't read or haven't gotten to yet. I'm still waiting on some holds to come in from the library, so there are going to be photos. But um, yeah, so basically we're just going to run through short books that I want to read in the next month. Um, I really think short books are underrated. I love a short audiobook. Um, I love something that I can get through quickly and feel like accomplished and I just feel like when you have the attention span of a gnat like what better readathon? Okay so the first prompt is Shorty Shorts. This is a book from the 70s or 80s and for this I chose <laughs> I found this in a flea market but it is The Further Adventures of Hank the Cowdog by John R. Erickson and this is a first edition. Now I've talked before in a video about how I grew up with the Hank the Cowdog books, like I grew up reading them. And so when I found this in a flea market, like a first edition, like I've never seen this cover before because like they have kind of the serialized covers, like when I read them. 1983, printed by Maverick Books, and I bought it for a whopping 50 cents. So um, I think this would also work for the prompt boxer shorts. So a comfort read, since it's something from my childhood. And then the next prompt, is Runway Fashion Shorts, a translated book. And for that, I chose The Double. This is by Dostoevsky. I don't know for sure that this is translated, but I'm pretty sure that like all of his writing was originally in Russian. And so like anything that you see in English like has been translated. Like, and I don't even know who the translator is on this, but so this is a book that you guys may have seen before because I bought it for Adam. Um, he really has, <laughs> he's obsessed with this movie called Enemy. And so there's basically two Jake Gyllenhaals and so I assumed this would be kind of similar and he hasn't read it. He doesn't really read. I don't know why I bought it for him other than I thought it sounded cool. But so I was like, eh, well, I'll read it so it doesn't go to waste. Okay, the next prompt is Granddad Shorts. And this is a book you've had a long time. And for this, I decided to choose Nectar in a Sieve. This is by Kamala Mark and Daya. Probably butchering that. Um, this is an Indian author and this book is set in India so I believe it would also qualify for Bermuda Shorts which is a book set in another country and I believe I read this probably if not before the time that I created my channel then it was around the time that I created my channel and I honestly keep very few books that I read but I did keep this one just because I enjoyed it so much and I realized recently I really really like sad books so yeah I definitely like don't read this if you're not in the mood for something sad and depressing like I I recently realized like the thing that all my favorite books have in common is like they're extremely sad and I was like oh no I'm one of those you know what I mean like I figured that out about myself and now I feel like, you know, I can go from there. Like, give me all the sad book recs, like down in the comments, wherever. Cause like, I need the sad books. Apparently I love them. I didn't know I loved them, but apparently I'm just emo, okay? And then I believe this would also work for denim shorts because this is a modern Indian classic. Um, although, you know, I had never heard of it before I read it or anything like that. So the next prompt is half and half shorts. And this is something that has like a movie adaptation. And for this, I chose a book that I picked up, I believe last year. Uh, when me and Adam drove down to Joplin. And so I picked Planet of the Apes. This is by Pierre Boulle. I don't know. Um, I don't speak French, I'm sorry. And so what happened is when I ended up buying this, like we went and watched Planet of the Apes and then like, I never read it. Oopsies. So yeah, I really, really liked the movie and I'm hoping to correct that now. Honestly, like I really, really liked the whole series. Like Caesar is like my little homie, like literally like, that movie i cry like i straight up like the series of movies like caesar like i am emotional you know what i mean like if someone ever asked me my favorite non-human character like i feel like caesar would be like 
he's number one, okay? Like, don't even touch me. Yeah, great franchise. I'm super excited for this. So the next prompt is denim shorts, and this is a modern classic. And I definitely think this one will qualify, even though I already had a different book that would also qualify, but I just wanted to read this. Like, I feel like I was going to read it anyway. I just recently bought it. It was a dollar at the thrift store, which I was super hype about. And it's A Raisin in the Sun by Lorraine Hansberry. And I've read it before, but it's been years. So I can't really remember it that well. Other than that, I liked it. And this is a play. Um, I feel like a lot of, you know, shorter books that are going to be on the shorter side are going to be like plays, poetry, comics. Like these are really, really easy picks that I feel like you could use to fill a lot of these prompts. And let me know if you guys are interested in our recommendations video because I was thinking about it and I was like, mm, not enough short books by black authors in the mix. So like maybe a recommendations video is needed. I don't know. Anyways, I just remember really liking this and she's one of the great writers of the Harlem Renaissance. Um, along with your boy Langston Hughes, et cetera, et cetera. So yeah, I'm super hyped for this. This could perhaps, would this count if it's not a movie adaptation, but it's like a screen adaptation? Like it's a play. So like there's obviously the play's been performed. So like, would that count? I don't know. Let me know. The next prompt is hometown shorts. And this was supposed to be a book set in or is somehow from the place you live. Now, for most of my life, I lived in Missouri. Um, and I just recently moved to Arizona. So I was like, eh, I'm kind of don't really feel like I know enough about Arizona to read a book from here. So I was like, let me pick something from Missouri, the Ozarks, uh, that, that kind of area. So the most popular books from like the Missouri region are um, Huck Finn, Gone Girl, uh, which is set in Missouri, I think. And then uh, like Winter's Bone, which got made into a movie with like Jennifer Lawrence and all that. But I was like, eh, I don't want any of those. So I scrolled down quite a bit in this list. And oh, apparently this is by the same author as, Win as Winter's phone. So I picked Tomato Red by Daniel Woodrell. Never heard of it. Published in 98. And the reason that I picked it, uh, I'll just read you guys the summary. In the Ozarks, what you are is where you are born. If you're born in Venus Holler, you're not much. For Jamie Lee Meridu, what a name, Venus Holler just won't cut it. Jamie Lee sees her brother Jason blessed with drop dead gorgeous looks and the local object of female obsession as her ticket out of town. But Jason may just be gay and in the hills and halls of the ozarks that is the most dangerous and courageous thing a man could be enter sammy barlick a loser ex-con passing through a tired nowhere on the way to a fresher nowhere jam lee jam lee jamie lee thinks sammy is just the kind of muscle she and jason need so i was like mm, it's got a gay character um it sounds weird it was published in the 90s um we'll just see how this goes uh <laughs> I'll let you I'll let you guys know if the uh, representation is problematic because I, I couldn't really find anything about whether or not the author is queer. But what they're saying about being gay in the Ozarks, I agree. Yeah, kind of kind of not the, the greatest place to be queer. I'm just going to put that out there. Short shorts. This is a book that mixes or doesn't fit a genre. And for this, what I came up with was Person by Sam Pink. Um, I have read some Sam Pink before and his work i feel is very like experimental it's sort of humorous it's sort of autobiographical at least that's kind of the vibes that i got from it sort of auto fiction um and i feel like his i read the ice cream man and other stories so that was short stories but i feel like his work i'm guessing person will be similar in that it's mixing a bunch of different styles and his work is just overall like um surreal weird kind of gives me B bukowski vibes so yeah person is really short i think it's like 80 pages but I'm kind of curious about it. Okay, the last two prompts were kind of, I'm not going to lie, my least favorite prompts. Um, and they are Jim Shorts, a book to get your pulse racing, and Ripped Shorts, a slasher or murder mystery. Neither of these categories do I particularly read in or enjoy, but to fit them both, I picked At the Mountains of Madness. This is a novella by H.P. Lovecraft. And I did say at the beginning of the year that I wanted to start exploring Lovecraft, despite the fact that he's a notorious racist. I really enjoy cosmic horror, or at least I feel like I have in the past. And so since he is the quintessential author, kind of the founder of the genre, I was like, okay, well, despite the racism, I'm going to give this dude a chance. So like, I know what's going on and all that. And yeah, so since I said I would read it at the beginning of the year, I was like, I guess I'm going to actually make good on something that I said for once. <laughs> so yeah, those are all the books I'm going to be reading in September. Let me know if you guys are participating or if you've read any of these, like give me a heads up. <laughs> I mean, a lot of these are rereads for me, but I'm not going to lie. My hair is parted in order to hide a giant zit that I have smack dab in the middle of my forehead. Full disclosure. Thank you so much for watching. I am trying to get back into posting weekly, so you can look forward to that. Um, I guess I will see you guys in my next video. Peace.